right, girls. Today we are going to look at some shapes. Um, after you complete this, there is a shapes video that is a really good review of all of the 2D shapes that we're talking about and some other bigger ones. Um, it's a really fun song to sing. So um, I'm going to attach that link for the next um thing you do after you complete your math lesson, okay? So today what we're doing is we're practicing counting and matching, and then um, we're also just reviewing some shapes, okay? So um, do you know what that shape is? Yeah, it's a square, okay? And so how many squares do I have? Did you say one? Yeah. Okay, and so what we did in class is I had students come up and match my shape up here and so they would have to find the same shape and in the same amount and so we would compare one and one are they the same yes they match okay and so then what are those those are triangles and let's count how many one two and so then we would match them. So how many triangles would we need on the other side? Two. Okay. All right. Then we have these shapes. Do you know what these shapes are called? Yeah, I bet you said diamonds. But guess what? There's a special name for them. They're called rhombuses. Okay. And but in kindergarten we call them we can call them diamonds or rhombuses whatever you are comfortable with. All right, let's count how many we have. One, two, three. And so what we would wanna do is match it on the same side or on the other side so that we would have three and three. And they match, they're the same. Okay, and then we have these. Oh, do you know what those are called? Those are trapezoids. Yeah, they're funny, aren't they? They look like squished rectangles. They have four sides like rectangles, but they're not exactly the si same side because they have to have opposite sides equal, but then they also have, um, have to have parallel lines, and these lines aren't parallel. We don't really get into that geometry, but you can just tell just by looking. All right, so let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four. And then we would match the same on the other side. One, two, three, and four. All right, so they're the same. All right, what do you think we're gonna do next? Oh, do you know what these are called? Those are hexagons. Yeah, a lot of people wanna call them octagons, but these have six sides, all right? And those are hexagons. So let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five. And in order to match it on the same side, on the other side, we would have to put the same amount. And so let's count those. One, two, three, four, five. And they're the same. Okay, so that's what we did. We just kind of practiced that with our one-to-one -one correspondence. Um, so if you have five things that you can count, that would be lovely, all right? And so then you have to be able to actually write the number five. And so I'm just gonna blow that up. And there's a little song that we say when we're writing the number five. Down and around and give it a hat. Okay? So make sure you do it like that and not like this. All right? Don't make your five like that because it's not one stroke. It's two. You come down, around, and then give it a hat. Okay? Much better. All right. So let's sing the song. Down and around and give it a hat. Down and around and give it a hat. Down and around and give it a hat. That's how we write number five. And so then you trace number five all the way across to practice that and have nice muscle memory with your number five. Then it says, draw a line to the same number of books. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, we've been doing this for days. So you count the books and then match it to the same number of books on the other side. And whatever you color this side, it needs to be colored on that side. And then down below, count the books. We write the number in the cloud. So you're just talking about these books down below. So count them and then write how many in the cloud. And that's it. 